Welcome back to Canadian Wrench. Uh, we're working today on a Gazelle, a 1970s kit car of a 1929 Mercedes. It's on a VW Bug chassis. We're going to see if we can get it to run. We're going to give it a good clean up. It's been sitting for years. Okay, working on the Gazelle here. I had to determine which battery cable is which because you can see one's not red. They're just both black cables. Both have a wire coming off them. I would assume because this wire here is black that might be ground but we'll see. And what, all we're going to do is we're going to check the resistance between the body so we know that this is a ground wire right here and it goes to the fuel sender right here where I tapped into it. So I'm gonna check the resistance on my meter. So ohms, right? Uh, get the other end of the meter. Okay, so then we're gonna to touch both these cables one at a time and see what we get for resistance. So right now we're out of limits. Oh well, so I'll touch this one here and make sure I get a good, uh, nothing, out of limits. Good contact, I'll just move it around, hold it, maybe a little bit, nothing, okay. Now, let's chuck this one here, clean that off, and what do we got? 7 nice so that's definitely our negative cable and all we did is check the resistance between a known ground so our fuel center grounds here runs over to here goes to the body so we know that's a ground and touch the cable which also is ground check that resistance it's in our tolerance it's great all right, in between rain clouds here, uh, this is what I've done. So I got a bottle with a fine tip on it, hooked it onto this fuel line here, squeezed it till I saw fuel going down into the fuel pump right here, right? There's your line right there. So now I'm sort of priming the pump, right? Uh, then once I filled that line with fuel, dropped it in a tank of fuel, Put it a little bit higher than the engine, so gravity's our friend. And uh, I checked the oil, and cranked it over, and uh, got it to run. Yeah, fantastic. I didn't flick the points. I didn't. Uh, I was gonna pop the cap off and just make sure they were clean and everything. That well, just see if it starts, and it did. Unbelievable. <laughs> We are 
all cleaned up. Turned out pretty good. I'm happy with that. Looks like uh, thinned aluminum rocker covers. Some chrome hanging out down there, chrome intake. That's very cool. Yeah, that's all right. I'm cleaning up the engine area. I found the Schrader valve uh, right here. So, like an air valve. So, out of curiosity, let's get a airline and see if this thing has got rear air suspension. Put a little air in it. Definitely going up. Don't want to put too much. Wow. Very nice. Rear suspension. <laughs> All right. Did the inside, cleaned up the rear package area or seat, if you want to call it that. Uh, the sides. Uh, cleaned up the other two seats, even though that one's so far gone. But at least you can see what it would look like. Um, down under here, which is under here. I'm going to glue that back a bit. And uh, that's all cleaned up. There's your pedals. Uh, the wiring I'm leaving for the next guy who loves this car. Yeah, cleaned up really good. Pleased with that. There's that finned aluminum cover. Alright, we'll see you guys again. Like, share, subscribe.